what's up beautiful people welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Brittany and this is the budget life with Brit in today's video we are doing our April sinking funds update so if you want to see how much progress we were able to make in the month of April stay tuned Alright y'all, so we're going to jump right into today's video, but before I do, if you are new here, I want to take the time to say welcome to the channel. On my channel, we do all things budgeting, cash stuffing, savings challenge, sinking funds updates, and more. So if that sounds like something that you may be interested in, please consider subscribing to the channel. We will love to have you a part of the community. And if you are a returning subscriber week after week, thank you so much for your support. All right, guys, so we're going to jump right into our Seeking Funds update for the month of April. So our Seeking Funds update is just a progress tracker um, we use month to month to see how much progress we were able to save within our Seeking Funds. I have my Seeking Funds update tracker that I made for myself for the month of April. We'll also be using our March Seeking Funds update sheet just to look at the balance <clears throat> the starting balance which i copied onto our new tracker so i'm going to place this to the side and i've already written down the totals so last month we were able to save four thousand seven hundred and four dollars and so we are just going to jump right into it and see how much progress we were able to make this month all right guys so i am going to start off with my high priority sinking funds I'm gonna place this to the side hopefully everyone can see and then within this video i will also be announcing my 500 subscriber giveaway uh, with a small clip on who the lucky winner is so to stay tuned for that all right so for our kicking off for our high priority sinking funds which is going to be for our cash savings Beginning of this month, we started off with $380. I'm also gonna bring my calculator over. All right, so we started off the month with $380 to see how much we were able to save for this month. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, and 80. So we have 480 within our cash savings which gives us a $100 change we made within our savings, cash savings. So that was good. Um, the next one is gonna be for our emergency fund. Emergency fund, we have 1,000 in the bank. We have 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, and 70. So we have one thousand and seventy dollars which gives us an increase of fifty five dollars so not bad we are working towards our three to six months expenses for our emergency fund slowly but surely we'll get there the next one is going to be for nyla nyla started off the month with five hundred and twenty dollars she now has 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, and 90. So she has 590. Gives us an increase, $590, and gives us an increase of $70. All right. We're gonna jump right into Sky. Sky should have the same amount as well. She started off the month with 520. She now has 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, and 90. So 590 with an increase of $70. All right, the next one is gonna be for Babe, and Babe started off the month with $32. He now has 5, 10, 15, and 16. So it gives us a negative $16 within his envelope. And the next one is going to be for debt. Debt started off with $150. 
And now, Dead has 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, and 65. So 65 gives us a, a negative $85. And each month, at the end of the month, I like to take whatever I have in my debt envelope and apply it to debt. So we'll have $65 going towards debt. The next one is going to be for new car. New car started off the month with 565. 565. And now debt, uh, new car has $500, 50, 70, 90, 610, 620, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So 645, which gives us an increase of $80. All right, so the next one is gonna be for car maintenance. I know we dipped in this this past month to get oil chain on my second car. So we started off the month with $100. We now have $40 left over. So that means that we have a negative $60 change in that one. All right, the next one is for travel. Travel, I know we put a, a bit from our savings challenges, our completed savings challenge in our travel envelope. So we started the month with $60. And now we have 120, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 10, and 15. So we have 3.15 in our travel, which gives us an increase of $255. So this one should be depleted within right after Mother's Day. Christmas, we started off the month with $200. So now we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, and 240. So $240 in our Christmas envelope, which gives us an increase of $40, which is good. And we're just in the end of April, so that's good. Invest started off the month with $30. I know I have placed some and some penny stocks. So now we have $10 left over, which gives us a negative $20. All right, so the next one is for gifting and gifting start off the month with $20. And we now have 35, which gives us an increase of $15. All right, so for fun money, fun money started off the month with $15. We now have 25. So that gives us uh, gives us an increase of $10. I know we dipped in this a little bit for over the month. Next one is going to be for dream home. Dream home Start off the month with $15. It now have 20, $15. Now it has 20, 30, 40, and 45. Gives us an increase of 30. All right, the next one is for Boss Up. And Boss Up started the month with $25. And it now has 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, and 66. So it gives us a positive $41. 
All right, so that is going to be it for our high priority sinking funds. And at this point of the video, I am going to insert a clip of the winner of my 500 subscriber giveaway. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Brittany with The Budget Life with Brit. Thank you guys so much for entering into my 500 subscriber giveaway. I have placed all of the qualified entries into the Wheel of Names. So we are going to spin the wheel and it's gonna choose a random winner. In order to be qualified, you had to be publicly subscribed to the channel, showing proof that you are subscribed, leaving a white heart emoji on the giveaway video, as well as sharing what have you learned so far on your budgeting journey. So without further ado, let's spin the wheel. Congratulations to Bougie Budgeting Brats for winning the $25 Amazon gift card. Shout out to you, girl. Thank you so much for your love and your support that you have shown on my channel. Um, go ahead and head over to Instagram and send me a message so I can get the information from you to send over your gift card. Thank you guys so much for showing your love and your support. And we're going to jump right back into the video. All right, guys, so we are going to jump right into our low priority sinking funds binder here. Okay, so put my calculator here. All right, so for our B's wish list, started off the month with $10. We now have 20. So gives us an increase of $10. Now I dipped in this a little bit too. Um, kids started off the month with $20. Kids now have 20, 30, 35, and 40. So gave us an increase of $20. So we got $20 for our kids envelope. All right, the next one is going to be for birthdays, which is one of our new envelopes that we added for the month. Of course, we did not have a beginning balance, but we now have 20, 30, and $35, which give us an increase of 35. Okay. All right, so the next one is going to be for our Future Us envelope, which is another new envelope we added for the month, which had only had $5 in it, looks like. So we just have an increase of $5. All right, so the next one is going to be for Beauty. I know I dipped in this one a little bit. And it started off the month with 10, ended with zero. <laughs> so we have a negative 10. Home decor is another new one. So we started off the month, of course, with zero, ended the month with just $3. So $3 in our home decor. positive three the next one is going to be for clothes and I see that clothes has nothing in there so we start off the month with $60 and we end it with, with zero so that is a negative 60 which is fine for holidays holidays started off with $35 for the month and holidays we now have 20 40 one and two which gives us an increase of $7 for this one. So my low priority sinking funds is one is what I use frequently. So we do not track our blessings envelope. Uh, rent, we don't track that. But there's nothing in there. Our one month ahead. So one month ahead on bills started off with $230 
we now have 1, 2, 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. So 250 for our one month ahead on bills, which is this is going to get depleted to go towards our May bills. And then we'll start all over again. And I probably won't even need all this. So, <clears throat> uh, for my credit, oh, so that just gave us an increase of $20. Um, credit card started off the month with $70. It now has 20, 40, 60, 65, 66, and 67. So we have $67. In here gives us a decrease of three dollars. So I'll be making a credit card payment here soon as well. Medical medical started off with $95, which got depleted this month, and it ended up with 15. So that is going to be a decrease of $80. All right, there's nothing in retirement, which is a new envelope. And then nothing in student loans. So we are done with this one. The next one is going to be for our savings challenges. If you checked out my previous video, we did unstuff our April savings challenges, except for I think one, which is my 500 savings challenge. But the other ones got depleted and dispersed throughout my sinking funds, so that was a big help. So for our 500, our 500 subscriber, our 500 uh, dollar challenge, we have so far. All right, so we have. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 81, and 82. So we have 282, which is going to be a positive 282 for the month. All right. So. That is good with that one within our savings challenges. So that is all we have. I wouldn't say a change. I would say that's how much we're ending with is 282. But now that we have our totals from our sinking funds, I am gonna go ahead and add up all the ending totals and see what we come up with. Gonna speed past here. I'll be right back. y'all so it looks like we have a total of five thousand and twenty one dollars within our sinking funds which is amazing we made a change of three hundred and seventeen dollars so that's 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 still good to me all right y'all so thank you so much for rocking with me you guys thank you guys for being on this journey with me uh, we were able to save over $5,000 this month. So I'm very, very excited about that. Um, and until next time, I see you guys in May. You guys stay healthy, stay well, and stay blessed. Bye. <laughs>